Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? And welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3. And on today's part, we'll be doing King Courtney's missions. And I think that this guy is the leader of the Yardies. This is King Courtney. Me Yardie Posse could do with them rude boy driver and people is saying you the man. Get to the waste ground opposite the stadium in a car and wait for the other hopefuls. I've got to be watching checkpoints all over stopping. First driver to a checkpoint gets the bling bling. Then it's on to the next stop. If you get more checkpoints than any other driver, I can have me a little work for you. Okay. Now this mission, um, this mission is a bit of a weird mission. Um, it's kind of like a race, but it's like, instead of like hitting a pattern, it's just random, and you have to hit the checkpoints. And if somebody else hits a checkpoint, you can't hit that checkpoint. It's kind of weird what we're racing against, like a Patriot and like a pickup truck. And a supercar, okay. The Yakuza car is a great car to use for this, because it's fast and it's easy to get. Yeah, see, so I'm passing all of them right now. One out of 15, okay. I think they're gonna get that one. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna get that one. Oh wait, maybe not actually. They crashed, okay. So like I said, it's like a weird race. It's like you, you gotta hit the checkpoints and the checkpoints, they spawn in random places. one too now. Okay, get this one now. Okay, there we go. Okay, ten more we gotta hit. So a little bit of a time consuming race, um a little strange. Five 
why not try man's first cousin? At petsovernight.com, we've got nothing really interesting on the stock. radio right now. Okay, we got it. Mission passed. Okay, let's go do King Courtney's next mission then. We should probably get a new car as well. Love in a box directly to your door. Okay, so here are King Courtney's guys. We're going for a little ride into Epburn Heights. Kill me some filthy Diablo boo boo spin batting up me Lady Queen Lizzie. You do the driving and the shooting and the dally and the boot. We'll make sure you don't get cold feet. Here, you'll need a piece. Laughing vampires dance! Feel the voodoo curse drive! So, um... For this mission, they give you a pretty slow car, and I, f I think if you actually get out of the car, I think it automatically fails the mission, so I'm not even gonna try to get a faster car. But, uh, yeah, they give you a... Uh, they give you a pretty slow car, and they have you drive all the way to Portland um, to kill some Diablos. And um, uh, so Claude now is um, killing Diablos, and Diablos, he, he worked for El Burro earlier. I don't remember if the Diablos end up becoming hostile to Claude. I would have to remember that. Um, okay, so we just gotta do drive-bys on Diablos then. seriously get this car repaired because this is not good right now oh my god okay this guy's getting annoying okay yeah, I gotta get that car fixed because that car is not looking good last thing I need is a car blowing up Okay, so as you guys saw, these, um, the, the first two missions are pretty easy. I remember what King Courtney's last mission is, but I don't remember, I don't think I remember his third mission. So, it, this is, it's not bad at all, like, um, it, this, this, just, a little time-consuming. First mission and second mission, a little time-consuming, but they're not hard. The drive-by, um... The drive-by system in this game is kind of broken because you can take out the most powerful enemies in the game, which is armed with, you know, M16s, and you just do drive-by on them, and you'll kill them pretty quickly. Um, and you don't have to worry about losing health because they can't damage you when you're in the car. They can blow up your car, which you gotta watch out for, but, um, you know, doing, doing drive-bys, you can kill a lot of enemies in this game without um, taking any damage. Okay, you're the kind of man we like as friend now. You're Irie, man. Real shooter. 
Okay, let's go do King Courtney's next mission. Gangster Roundup. I want you to steal me some gang cars so we can do some naughty thing on our enemy turf. I want me a Mafia Sentinel, a Yakuza Stinger, and a Diablo Inferno so we can hit up any gang in Liberty. Drop them off at the garage in Newport and hear this. They're no use to me all broke up now. Okay, so I guess, yeah, that, that's kind of weird that um all of his missions... Every single one of them are pretty time consuming. They're not um uh, they're not difficult, but they're just time consuming. So um the, the this mission, you have to get three cars. You have to get a Mafia Sentinel, uh you have to get a Yakuza Stinger and um a Diablo um a Diablo car. I'm trying to remember what the Diablo car name is. But it, it shouldn't be um difficult. I mean the easiest way to get a Yakuza Stinger is you can just drive right down here to where Asuka's um condo is. And there's always a um, there's always a Yakuza Stinger parked here, and you can just take that. So see easy. And be careful not to scratch the cars, because I think if you've scratched them even a little bit, you gotta get them repaired. Okay, that's the first car. And now we need the Diablo, um, the Diablo Stinger, and we need the Mafia Sentinel. That's actually going to, going to take us, um, it's gonna take us a little bit of time, because you're gonna have to make a huge drive to Portland and back. Now the hardest car to get is going to be the Mafia Sentinel. That is going to be the hardest car to get because the um because the Leones are armed with shotguns, which is just ridiculous now. I think there should be one at, um, damn, those shotguns scare me. Those shotguns can, like, blow up the car so quickly. So there's one parked right here at Salvatore's mansion. Just gotta be careful, because this is, like, pretty risky. It's, like, right in the, right in the heart of Leone territory. Uh, come on, no, 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 no. Okay, it's good to go down that hill that I did, just don't do exactly what I did where you just like, you know, you kind of fall out like that, but um, now we just need to get out of Leone territory. What is this here? Um, come on, let me, let me through. Hidden package there. I think that's an easter egg. Um. Here we go. We didn't damage the car, which is good. Okay, now all we need is we need the Diablo Stinger. And the Diablo cars, they're right around um, uh, Hepburn Heights. So that's it. We got the final car. We just gotta get this back to, um, to uh, King Courtney's garage. I have it smashed a little bit, but it says I can still deliver the car, which is strange. I guess it can take a little bit of damage then. And this car is decently fast, so you'll get back there no problem. There we go, we got them all. Okay, so we got one final mission, the really scary mission. Let's go do it then. Kingdom come. Oh, here it is.
Now hear this. Get your little self over to Bedford Point. There's a stash in an old jalopy and it's quick smart now. Okay, so we gotta go pick up a car in Bedford Point. I'm sitting here reading the Liberty Tree, and it says in nearby Carcer City, a good day for law and order as Police Chief Gary Schiff. Here we go. Look at this now, guys. Letter, I hear you've been a busy everyone. boy. Well, I've been he's a busy girl. A I think it's time you witnessed the real power of Spank. He's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. So King I Courtney you, set Clot up. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory, where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Look at this. Good thing, Pogo. Ah. Ah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come to daddy. Here you go. I got a present. Come to daddy. Special delivery. Oh my god. Special delivery. Here you go. I got a present. Special delivery. Special delivery. If you want to know what's going on here, these are um uh these are uh spank addicts with with bomb vests on them. Ah uh, damn. I messed up, but damn that. So but what's going on here is those are uh drug addicts uh strapped with um bomb vests that are trying to run into Claude and blow him up. Um that's what's just really scary about that mission. Like and they keep repeating the same line, which is just really creepy. Let's try it one more time. Bezos, if, what, what, what does that mean in Spanish that she said? If anybody in the um, comments knows. But this, this mission, again, this mission is so scary. Now the best the best way to actually complete this mission, you have to blow up the vans quickly because the vans are gonna keep spawning the drug addicts. The best gun to use for this is the submachine gun, the Uzi. And the reason it's good is because you can move while firing the Uzi. Don't use the assault rifle or you'll get killed. You saw what happened to me earlier. Okay, there's only one more van, so you gotta shoot them right when they get out of the van. There we go. Man, this is just terrifying. It's drug addicts running at you just laughing with just um, bomb vests on. It's just, oh man, this mission. When I was a kid, I died so much on this mission. That mission just terrified me. Like, it just scared me. Like, how old was I when I played that mission? When I played that mission the first time, I was like eight years old. Like, I played that in like 2002. So this, this scared me. Like, this, this creeped me out. Like, this was, um, 
Yeah, this that that was definitely one of the scariest missions. And the thing is, this is this shows you just how like much darker some of the older GTA games used to be. And so like how I what I was saying um, in my earlier part, Spank in the GTA 3 world, that's a parody off of crack, cocaine. So like you had basically like crack addicts just like equipped with bomb vests just running at you trying to blow you up. So Catalina um, paid off King Courtney and King Courtney betrayed Claude. That's what happened there. But um, uh, yeah, that's it for the mission. That's it for King Courtney's missions. And now whenever you go to Yardy Turf, the Yardies will actually attack you. So the Yardies are now hostile to you. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as I can. Take care, everyone.